This movie is what happens when you have two thirds of a good idea. Let's talk about ISS. ISS is a new movie directed by Gabriella Cowperthwaite. I probably butchered that name, and it stars Chris Messina, John Gallagher Jr., Ariana DeBose, and Pilu Aspect, which if you recognize him, that's because he was in Game of Thrones. He played Theon Greyjoy's mean, mean uncle, and he was really entertaining in that show. And he was actually one of the standouts in this movie, one of the best parts of this movie, if I'm being honest. Let's dive in. I thought the premise of this movie was kind of cool. A uh, new recruit arrives at the International Space Station. It seems like everything's going hunky-dory. Everybody's super happy. They're being very nice. They're looking out the window. They're looking down at Earth, taking in the beauty of Earth. And all of a sudden, there is bombs and explosions going off down on the ground. It seems like maybe there's a war going on. And bingo, yes, there is a war going on. It's between Russia and the United States. And wouldn't you know it, each side decided to tell their astronauts on the station Please take control of the station. We don't want the other side to have it. And um, you have the permission to do whatever it takes. I thought that was a really cool concept. Unfortunately, once that plot point actually started kicking in, the movie started losing traction, losing you know focus, and started becoming a bit of a tangled up mess. So for starters, I am a big fan of space movies. Anything where you're going into space. I like your Star Wars. I like your Star Trek. I like your life, I like Alien, I like Prometheus. I definitely believe we are not alone in this universe. I think it's absolute vanity and insanity to think that we are the only living species in this massive universe. It's just ridiculous. So I definitely love space travel movies. It's a cool concept to me. I just think that it wasn't long after they hooked me in that the movie started losing me. Because at first, this movie was very interesting. I felt like I was getting an in-depth tour of the International Space Station, something I'm never going to get in real life. So I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like a cramped mess, and I don't think I could live here. I don't want my alcohol floating away after I open the bottle. I don't want to sleep standing up. So it was cool to see just some of the challenges that come with being up in the International Space Station. Those were all good things about this movie. This movie had a plethora of idiotic character decisions. There was people making choices in this movie that just did not make sense. I get that they were trying to be secretive with each other. You know, there's a lot of bullshit backstabbing going on, but it just was not really intriguing. The people were making choices that I was just like, why are you doing this? This doesn't make any sense. It just seemed like messy, messy writing. This movie is only an hour and 35 minutes, and yet it felt like it dragged because the story was meandering. The characters were uninteresting. The decisions were ridiculous. I definitely found myself checking my watch, wondering, am I almost done with this hour and a half? That's pretty tragic because if a movie is only an hour and a half, that should be breezing right by. And yet I was ready to get out of there because I thought that this movie was very weak sauce. I thought it had a really cool idea. Uh, poor execution, and I definitely think that you can wait to rent this movie or maybe just wait till it's free on some streaming service. I mean, you are paying for the streaming service, which still might be too much money to pay for this movie. I don't know. This movie is just very mixed to me. I definitely think it has some redeeming qualities, but it overall has so many negatives that it just brought me way down in the enjoyment scale. I would give this movie a watch score of one because I definitely checked my watch and I keep track now, damn it. I keep track. I checked my watch once. So not a horrible watch score, but as an overall movie score, I think I would give this movie a six. You know, that's kind of like a, almost a failing grade. Take it how you like. If you want a good space movie, this is not really the movie. If you want, you know, some mild entertainment that will, you know, occupy an hour and a half of your life, and you don't mind stupid characters, then go ahead and watch this movie. So as always, if you liked this review, please go ahead and let me know by clicking the like button. And if you want to see more things just like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. That's all I got for you. Later.